every county. This is your statewide newscast. Arkansas Today. Good afternoon. Into Arkansas Today. The Arkansas Medical Marijuana Commission will discuss dispensary applications. That's happening today. The commission is waiting on the Supreme Court's decision on cultivation applications to become official. For that reason, cultivation applications will not be discussed today. That meeting does begin at 4 o'clock. Governor Asa Hutchinson appointed a new member to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission earlier today. J.D. Neely of Camden will replace Commissioner Steve Cook, who is chairman of the board. Commissioner Hutchinson will be the new chairman. Neely has served as a general appraiser specializing in timberland, cattle and pasture land, and recreational properties for 25 years. He has also worked as a licensed broker for the sale of timberland investment and recreational properties for 22 years. Game and Fish Commissioners are appointed for seven-year terms. One thing Neely will begin work on immediately is a proposal for turtle hunting. In August, Game and Fish will decide on change concerning turtle harvesting. Right now, trappers can take any number of the 14 varieties of turtles in the state. More than 126,000 were harvested from 2014 to 2016. Public comment is being taken until August 6th. Well, a year after a mass shooting in Little Rock, police are still investigating that case. 25 people were shot at Power Ultra Lounge July 1st, 2017. Three men have been arrested. There are warrants for a fourth man. Investigators believe more people were involved. They're looking for pictures and videos from inside that club. One of the victims in the shooting is still looking for closure. Because like, I could have died. It's really a blessing if you can look back and say you survived something like that. That night, police were first on the scene applying tourniquets, making sure that no one had died. Soon after the shooting, officers started carrying trauma kits. Well, the mother of one of those victims is suing the rapper who performed that night. The teenager paralyzed after a bullet went through his spine. The lawsuit names rapper Ricky Hampton. His two bodyguards and the Conway man, police say, fired the first shot. The suit was filed on Friday, just before the statute of limitations expired. And you may have heard about this. People who paid to see singer Keisha Cole over the weekend right here in Little Rock now asking for a refund. The singer pulled off the stage at 11 o'clock because of a seldom used curfew. Cole says the city would not let her take the stage. The city says the concert was under contract to end at 11. When it didn't shut down, they shut it down. We didn't even get to hear not one song or hum or anything. We just basically got to see her, whoever was down in VIP, and that was it. Harris similar happened last year. It's unclear if any sort of refunds will be offered here. Well, the city of Brooklyn in Craighead County hopes major growth over the past few years leads to expansion. City officials have been looking to annex land for a while. Mayor Kenneth Jones says it was met with some opposition in the past, so the idea lost momentum. However, the proposal will be on the ballot in November. If we want some of the restaurants we want to have, if we want some of the, the bi other businesses, you know, to, to locate here, you've got to have the people count. And you've got to have them people here to support that on a 24-7, 365 day a, a year. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's how you do that. You grow your city. And uh, uh, that's what we're trying to do is look out for our future. We want Brooklyn to be here in the future for our kids and our grandkids and our great-grandchildren. Jones hopes people understand the vision for Brooklyn's growing future. New business has already started showing interest in some of the proposed land. Springdale's historic Shiloh Meeting Hall is open after a decade of construction. The 147-year-old building was donated to the Shiloh Museum of Ozark History back in 2005. Renovations have been ongoing since 2007. The Shiloh Museum is open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5 in Springdale. Leaders from across the state discussing the future of jobs in Arkansas as the use of automatic equipment continues to rise. According to a study from Oxford University, more than 45% of jobs could be automated by the year 2050. The city of Springdale will soon have a machine that will automatically draw lines on sports fields. Officials say they'll be cutting nearly $75,000 over six years in labor costs by putting that robot to work will just allow that staff to continue to do 
or increase what they're doing because they're not having to stop and go do this. And as far as the labor goes, employers say they are not worried about too many robot job candidates, but are simply happy to be receiving the extra help. And a Hollywood feature film could begin production right here in Arkansas this fall, and it's currently looking for actors. The name of the film, lead roles, and production company behind this project not yet being released. But the location, Scout for the project, says it's a Vietnam-era war film, and they are using the natural state as a backdrop for its rice fields and flowing rivers. Hopeful actors went to Mount Sequoia and Fayetteville to try their hand at the big screen. As the wonderful opportunities that Arkansas has, not only for a great quality of life, but also very scenic, and uh, our people are very, very welcoming. And I think these guys have discovered that over the last couple of days. And if you want to try out for this project, there will be a casting call today in the River Valley. You can audition at the Riverfront Amphitheater in Fort Smith from 4 until 7 tonight. And Northeast Arkansas bikers took to the pavement this weekend to honor a cyclist who was killed in Craighead County. More than 60 cyclists gathered at Forest Park to pay tribute to Jason McDonald while raising awareness about biking safety. This is an annual event for that group. And competitions at the Special Olympics USA Games begin today up in Seattle, Washington. This year marks 50 years since the Special Olympics movement. Besides the competitions, the event also features a job fair and health education services for athletes. More than 4,000 athletes are expected to compete. Two and a half years of preparation and planning for this event and so many uh, meetings and ideas developments along the way. And our state well represented at these games. 72 athletes will represent Team Arkansas in Seattle. All are competing in seven Olympic-type team and individual sports. And the games, of course, run through Friday. Good luck to all those competing there.